Welcome back. I'm Dee. Today we're going to learn how to build a rectangular prism from a flat drawing. Materials are listed in the video description, so let's get started. So I'm going to start drawing my rectangular prism net. So remember, a net is a flat pattern that can be used to build a three-dimensional shape. In this case, our rectangular prism. So I'm going to draw my rectangular prism with a length of five going across and three down. So one, two, three, four, and five going across and three down, two, three. I'll close off my shape to make my first rectangle and label that number one. You'll notice here that for my rectangle, the opposite sides have equal measure, whereas for my cube, all of the sides had equal measure. Okay, so that's a difference to remember. Number two will have the same measurements as number one. So you already have five going across the top. Now I have to have three going down. Close off my shape. And label that one number two. Number three, the same thing. Three going down, two, three. Five going across, two, three, four, five. Number four follows the same pattern. One, two, three going down. One, two, three, four, five across. The rectangular prism has six faces as well, but you notice here that it looks very different from our cube where they were all squares. Now, five and six are special because their measurement depends on the sides of number one. So, because the sides have to meet. Now the bottom part of drawing the shape for five matches the bottom for two and matches the bottom for one. So you could think of extending your line. Okay, same thing for this side where six will end up being. But now it comes to figuring out how far out you should go, where you should draw your line to close the shape. Now here on the side of one, I have a measurement of one two, three. So that means in order for these two sides to meet when I'm folding, this side has to have a measurement of three. One, two, three. So I would stop there. Same thing for this side. It has a measurement of one, two, three. So I know for this side for what will end up being six, this has to have a measurement of one, two, three. And I'll close that off. So here I have five, here I have six, and now comes, we're going to start drawing some tabs. So just like for the cube, I'm going to draw a tab on the top of one. On the side of five. On the side of six. on the bottom of four, but in order to close off my sides and make sure I don't have many gaps, I'm going to add extra tabs here on the top of five and the bottom of five and the top of six and the bottom of six. So yes, I will have to do a bit more cutting, but it's worth it in the end. So here, as you're drawing your tabs, you can even think of um, extending this angled line like that and down here. Okay, now I'm ready to cut. So I'm going to cut up my shape. Again, trying to stay on the line as best as possible.
So trying to be as careful as possible. And again, cutting the tabs at an angle. my scissor to help pick up a little bit okay so here almost finished cutting as far as your scraps you want to try to keep them um, in one place so at the end you don't have a huge cleanup so let's go have a little bit hanging off there uh, these two on the bottom So in here, just check all around, make sure that you cut those little, they almost look like little triangles. Let's see. Ah, oh, one more left. They look like right triangles. <laughs> okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. So sweep this away. And then I'm going to get my second piece of paper and my glue stick, and I'm going to glue this net onto my second piece of paper. Now again, you could choose any color paper. Um, this is just regular computer paper because it's cheap, it's available. <laughs> you can draw on it if I wanted to change the color later, and it's pretty soft, so it's easy to manipulate with my hands. You will get glue in your fingers. Don't worry about it. Soap and water solves it. Just gets it off your hands, easy squeezy. Okay, make sure that's nice and sticky. Smooth out any glue bumps. And again, I like to put it on the side of my paper so I don't have to cut as much, just cuts down on time. Move it down. And then I cut up my shape again. Little corner is giving me a little trouble here. All right, there we go. Let's give it a little tug. And then just continue watching your cuts. Make sure that your tabs are cut on that angle. Cut your little triangles out the little corners. And 
then, oh, still have this little bit. All right, so here's the back, here's the front, or front, back, whatever. <laughs> it depends. Some people like to have the grid lines facing outwards. Um, for what I'm going to do today, I'm going to have the plain side facing me at the end. Okay, so that means that I'm going to have to fold my tabs inwards towards two. So folding it in. Similar idea to what you did uh, for the cube. So here, let's move this a little closer to me. Okay, fold that down. Now you have more tabs, so you have a little bit more work to do. So here, fold this tab in for five. All of the tabs around five, fold them in. Fold this one down. So all of my tabs are going towards the inside. And just try to make them as straight as possible. And just double check that. Looks pretty good. Okay. That's better. Okay, and now we fold the rectangles in towards two. So fix this one a little bit. Looks okay. Let me double, double check that one. Yeah, could do that a little bit better. So what I noticed was that this one looked a little crooked and it should be straight across in order for it to look um, closed once I finish folding. So I just wanted to fix that one really quickly. So in any case, Number one goes into number two. Make sure it's on the line before you crease. Five goes into six. I'm sorry, five goes into two, <laughs> six goes into two. Okay, so you fold, you can already see how that's gonna work. And then four goes into three. And then three goes into two. Make sure I did that right. Never hurts to double check. Okay. All right, so next, the glue stick. Yeah, just double checking. The glue stick, put it on top of your tabs. So you can see where my purple is, that's my glue. It dries clear, just this uh, Elmer's disappearing purple. It actually disappears pretty quickly, so I have to work fast. <laughs> and this is just meant to hold your shape. Um, I'm going to use tape to finish it off, but it holds it as you're um, closing up any gaps. So it's just a little helper. If you have time and patience, you can hold it with your hands and let the glue set. But an easy quick fix is just to use clear scotch magic tape, which is which, which is what I'm going to use. Okay, oops, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna form my rectangular prism. So here I'm going to make sure this tab goes on the inside and smush it together. Okay, this tab on the inside.
hope you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to get that there. Okay. Then turn this around, this tab here. This tab here. So you see the tabs are kind of helping a bit. Um, some people prefer not to have any tabs at all. I like tabs. I feel like it makes the process a little easier, more secure. Okay, so here you can see it's pretty much staying on its own. Um, the lid, I call it the lid of the box, you see it's popping up a little bit. So I'm going to take some uh, magic tape. Now magic tape is really useful because not only is it clear, but you can also draw on top of it. The shinier tape um, doesn't quite allow you to do that. Like if you wanted to draw with pencil or marker. Okay, so a little bit there, and then I'll put a little on that side. It's too long. Okay, and there you have it, your rectangular prism.